Hello, welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 2 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about how to determine what version of ASP.NET MVC is being used by an existing MVC application. In part 1 of this video series, we discussed about different MVC versions that are available as of today. We have MVC2, MVC3 and MVC4. Now let's say on my computer I have several existing ASP.NET MVC applications. Now how do I determine which version of MVC is being used by each of these applications? That's what we are going to discuss in this video. Now let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's create an MVC application. So click on File, New, Project and let's select MVC2 Web Application and let's name it MVC2 application. Click OK. And it's going to ask you whether you want to create a unit test project. For now, I'm going to say, no, do not create a unit test project. Click OK. It's going to create an MVC2 application for us. Now let's go to the other Visual Studio that's open. And now let's select File, New, Project. And then now let's select MVC3 web application. And let's name it MVC three application click OK now select the template you know an empty template and then the view engine as Razor view engine we'll talk about what are these view engines in a later video session so click OK now let's go to the other Visual Studio which is open and let's create another project and this time let's create an MVC 4 application and let's call this MVC 4 application click OK select empty template and raise a view engine click OK so now we have three MVC applications on my computer now if you look at the name it's called MVC 2 application but in reality we wouldn't name our applications as such we would give them more meaningful names depending on what they do uh, but here you know just for our identification we have given it as MVC 2 application but just imagine if this application were to use a different name then how do I tell which version of MVC was used to build this application we can do it in two ways you know we can we can identify that at design time if you want to identify that at design time what you can do is go to solution explorer expand references folder and then within references folder you should see something called system.web.mvc right click on that and select properties and look at the version of MVC here to which means we have used MVC 2 to build this MVC application similarly if I go to MVC 3 application look at that MVC 3 application and then if I go to references folder and then look at system.web.mvc go to the properties look at that version is 3 and then if I go to MVC4 application, expand references folder, system.web.mvc, right click on that, go to properties, look at the version, it's 4. So we know how to figure that out at design time. Now if I want to achieve that programmatically, is that possible? Absolutely. And this is how you do that. You use reflection. So you, you you know look at the controller we'll talk about controllers in detail in a later video session you know but I can use something called controller in MVC model view controller you know C is controller so controller and get the type of it and then dot I use the assembly property and invoke get name function and then dot version is going to give you the version of MVC that was used to build this application and to quickly identify that let's go to for example you know this MVC2 application here look at this at the moment this controller action method I mean this index function which in this within this home controller class is returning action result but for now let's say it's going to return a string we'll talk about these controller action methods in a very great detail in a later video session and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say return and then I'm going to use that code that you have seen on the slide controller and then I'm going to get the type of that so type of controller and then oh it's type of dot we can get the assembly dot get name and then dot version look at that and then convert that to string that's it so if I 
go ahead and run this now when the web application renders it should show me the version of MVC that was used to build this application and and that's at runtime so the web form is loading we can do that with MVC 3 and MVC 4 applications as well the same code no difference let's quickly do it for MVC 3 if you look at MVC 3 application at the moment you don't have any controllers in the folder so we need to add a controller we'll talk about controllers in a great detail in our next video session so I'm going to say add controller and let's call it home controller and add that should add a controller class and a function within that and look at that I have this index function and similarly I'm going to return a string and I'm going to go to our MVC2 application copy the same code from there and then paste it within this function alright now let's run this so we are running MVC3 application we have already run MVC to look at that it has written 2 as the version so for MVC 3 it's returning 3 if you put the similar code in MVC 4 application it should state it as MVC 4 so if you want to figure out what version is being used by an existing MVC applications there are two ways you can either do it at design time or programmatically at runtime Alright, on this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.